we are going on our first RV trip. And I forgot the car mount. Wedge her in there. So that's a, is it too high? Can you just... No, I think he can just wedge her in there. Okay. We wedge her. Oh, nope, that didn't work. Okay. We're gonna go to Shenandoah Valley. We might do this six times because this one's so rough. And we were supposed to go to Bonnaroo, but Bonnaroo got canceled because of Hurricane Ida. So very sad because our supposed to, first trip was supposed to be to Bonnaroo. And then last night we were like, we still have to go somewhere. So now we're going to Shenandoah Falls. We're at Target. First stop of the trip. We just figured out how to lock the doors without using the key. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna well, we're gonna learn I, a lot of things. I'd on like this to say trip. I knew all along, but then just like was like, hmm, just remembered it. Did you find it? Kind of approximate things here a little bit. Let's take guesses. 11, nine and a half. Uh, nine and a half. Absolutely. Nine. You can just say 10 to be safe. We need to put that on the dash. Okay. 10, 10 and a half. So when we forget, because we're gonna forget. We'll watch this video. Yeah. Got our blanket. Did you find it? I think. 16 color photos. $34. Ooh, right in the middle. Oh, hi, honey. Hi. I'm going to be so excited when we get out of Columbus. Once we, once we get on the open road. Oh, we got to get some food. three and a half hours so we'll get there like eight and the way we drive we'll probably get there like 8 30 and this is how we measure distance when you're from the I don't know if it's from the Midwest or just from Ohio but I don't know how many miles it is but it's three and a half hours away it'll take us four hours to get there because we're driving slow it's supposed to be rainy in Virginia well where we're going in Virginia like all day because of the hurricane but we'll see because seems like everywhere else is getting rain and then sun so maybe by the time we get there it'll be at the sun stage but we'll see you doing okay kyle yo gotta turn the water tank back on also we don't have a campsite reservation so we're doing it first come first serve campsite i could be more anxious about it i'm a little concerned did we talk about how we don't have cup holders we don't have any cup holders Boop -a -doop -boop -boop. Hey, how's it going? Should probably get there at like nine. We're getting closer to Kyle's uh, ten o'clock uh, assumption. Two hundred eight miles. Lights.
camera. Actually. Did you really just turn your lights on? Yeah. Okay. Just sunny outside. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's my lover. My lover. Wow. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome to Virginia. Mm, hopefully, the uh, last gas station stop before we get to camp. Going to Krogs after this to get our groceries for the weekend. We're at Krug's. Buying way too many groceries. Getting our groceries for the week. <laughs> We're going to learn a lot today. I'm estimating it's going to be like $150. I'm going for $200. Oh no, it's not going to be We will fill you in when we get the answer. Our final price. Oh, $180. Real close to $200. Real close to $200. But I had close. $89 of cash, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Dangerously close. <laughs> We're almost there. We're driving up the, up the hill. We're officially in the Shenandoah Valley. Um, well, what is it? Shenandoah National Park? Yeah, Shenandoah National Park. We're officially in the park. It's going very comfortable. It's 30 miles an hour. Up a freaking mountain. Can you see anything going now? That'd be rad if you could, because it's a sweet looking view. So we got in really late last night, what? not that late, like 11.30, and after driving the wrong way down the one way, we are now going to register for a campsite. Morning, Dorian. Was it just me or was he a little bit angsty, a little, a little angry about me staying last well, night? Well, I don't think he was actually angry, <laughs> but I think he knows what his job is. And he's like, I gotta make sure these kids know. Yeah, keep these whipper snappers in line. Right. He's like, you're supposed to come back down after an hour to register. Oh Kyle's my like, God. I'm no, not driving. I'm so sorry. I'm here at 1 a.m. waking everyone up. <laughs> Anyways, we have a new campsite. C139. We just don't know when we're leaving yet because we're living that RV life. <laughs> to the campsite. Hey, how's it going there? Welcome back to Kyle's RV Lifestyle with Dorian and Kyle's amazing adventures. Go put the tag over there. Was, was that great or what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm dating the biggest door. We're going to have to cook our food over fire first morning because the propane tank that I tested out quite thoroughly by using it for a couple different breakfasts at home and stuff. <laughs> first thing, turn it on, gas leaked. Not trying to blow ourselves up, so um, we we're opting for wood. a more natural breakfast this morning. <laughs> <laughs> In our morning workout. A manual Ugh. labor breakfast. Working hard for breakfast. And then we'll see what else we do today. You know, something I really admire about Kyle is his ease at making fires. Ease? Yes. Right, You're welcome. And, like, maybe you don't think it's easy, but there's so many other people that I've seen struggle so long to make fires. And this took, like, prob not even 10 minutes. It's still going. It's good. I mean, yeah, but, like, that's some good progress in, like, five minutes of work. We got some sausages going. Cooking eggs. 
we uh, don't have water yet, so we have to wash the dishes with bottled water. So we're going on a hike, six to 6.5 mile hike. And uh, we got a map, ranger dude that uh, we talked to this morning that wasn't too stoked on us. Uh, not paying. Not paying <laughs> last night, because there's an hour, an hour that we gotta pay. Talked to him, he was, he was pretty cool. He was a little, a little bit more stoked on hiking. Um, yeah. A few scenic views, and we'll uh, recap then. I do not want to get eaten by a deer. Come here. Well, we went there, and this is right there. So we've only gone right there. Yeah, makes Should sense. Continue that. Way? Yeah. Nice drink. Find the estimated about pollution could be 115 miles. Jeez. These days we just see 23 on average. excited about hiking I don't remember which national park it is but one of them you like literally have to hike through a river what where the water starts huh? <laughs> one of them you Not literally have to hike through a river I'll look it up later but I was like what I want to hike through a river <laughs> and so yeah So we just got done with a seven mile hike. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I need to cut my toenails. Uh, other than the length of your toenails, uh, how was the hike? It was good, it was pretty. It was like all uphill though, so. Like uphill both ways? Literally, somehow. We hiked down in the middle, I guess, and then hiked back up, but we were not at the bottom. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember what it looked like when we drove in last night, but it looked like this. Friday, September 3rd, I think, and yeah, it's like 9 in the morning, just woke up, kind of just getting our day started. So I guess I can show you around the RV a little bit. It's not as clean as it could be, but it's pretty clean. So this is the bed cab over area where we sleep. It is a twin size mattress, so it is very uh, snuggly. And then we have a couch here. And then our kitchen area, we've got our clean dishes and our little dish rack, sink, and then this is the stove. Right now, because between the hours of 8 and 10 you can run a generator, because the rules here are very specific, we're charging all of our stuff. So, that's what's going on here. But here's the stove. Bathroom. 
shower with our spare tire. This is where the fridge would go, but we just have a cooler here. And then this is like where we eat our meals if we're inside. Otherwise, we eat them outside. Um, so, yeah, we had an issue with the propane yesterday. So we don't have propane. So we've just been cooking everything over the fire. Um, but luckily, this campsite has a lot of amenities. So it's not like a huge deal that um, we don't have propane. We went to Walmart yesterday to see if we can get new propane. And they didn't have what Kyle was looking for. So we decided not to get any but yeah but yeah it's been good um it's different it's like a lot of adjustment to i think the propane is the biggest part because i was like fully prepared to cook meals on the stove as we like practiced and then we can't do that so we had the, we made pasta over the fire last night which was delicious but it just takes a lot longer and then we're gonna make breakfast over the fire so kyle went to go get firewood but yeah, it's been fine. I want to set up this tent outside. We have like a canopy tent. I want to set that up. And I'll probably just clean up in here. Like get ready for the day, basically. I don't know what we're doing today. There's like a lot of little hikes that we could do that are like the scenic viewpoints that are only like a mile or two. So maybe we'll do that today. Seems pretty chill. Having uh, some French toast this morning. Fire. French toast. Set up the tent and some chairs so it looks like we live here so nobody steals their firewood. <laughs> we bought these matching uh, cowboy hats for Bonnaroo and now we just look goofy at the campsite. <laughs> hey, I love this hat. This is a great hat. <laughs> yeah? Multifunctional hat. How come you didn't want to wear it to get firewood? I didn't want to look goofy. <laughs> hour montage cutting wood just every single time I wood chopping montage take 57 ow Ooh. french toast Kyle's french toast is like my uh, favorite wow. meal of all time there's this guy Stealing wood from campsites. This is like his 10th trip. And I talked to him and was like, hey man, where are you getting your wood from? And he's like, people leave their campsites and they don't use all their wood. And I'm like, well, we left yesterday and all our wood was gone, but we're still here. So, but like, look at all this wood. Hold on, he's coming. He's coming. He's telling his kid where to go get the wood from. And then he gave me some wood because clearly he felt bad about it. I'm trying to bribe you with wood. You're like, oh, do you want some? I'm like, yeah, I'll take some. Thanks, man. You should have said no. You should have said no. I don't want your stolen wood. Maybe. But yeah, I don't know. It's just freaking sketchy. So if you're staying at a campsite, don't steal wood from other campsites. I'm wearing my festival turned RVing hat we just refilled the cooler and Kyle is getting some firewood and then we're gonna go do these hikes that aren't that far well first we're gonna refill the water because somehow we filled that yesterday and used it all so we probably didn't fill it all the way but yeah we're gonna do that get some water then we're gonna just hikes so they're pretty close and they're like only like a couple miles so hopefully it doesn't take all day but yeah Hopefully the wood thief doesn't steal our wood. Yeah. All right, so here's the rundown. Here's the rundown for Dorian for the, the water hookups. But yeah, this is where you fill up the old water hole there. And this is a hose. You wanna go turn on the water real quick, honey? Are you ready? You're gonna yeah, put it in there go first. turn it on. Okay. Just a little bit though. Just uh, hanging out, getting some water here. We don't know how long it takes to fill the water, but we know it takes longer than it took last night. Literally. I think it's full. Yeah, it's coming out of the top now. Yeah, it's full. It is absolutely full. 
not totally sure what's going on with the water pump so kyle's looking at the generator to find out and when things get stressful we make bologna sandwiches Water tank all filled up. Fresh water's good. Reset the water, the water gauge, to be correct. <clears throat> emptied the black water, which is the poop, and emptied the gray water, which is the runoff of all the other stuff. Tested the light stuff, got the water pump all figured out. For some reason, a circuit thingy got flipped. Um, so when we hooked up the generator, everything worked, and then I just unplugged it to make sure it like reset the circuit correctly. And now we're gonna go get some gas. So we have gas proper. And uh, then we're gonna go hike. Yay! Rocks. Lots of rocks. Rocks. Yeah, I'm ready. So we got back to the campsite at a reasonable time. So we're gonna do an all night fire fest. But first, we're gonna clean up in here cause it looks like a hot mess. RV's clean. What? Not allowed to make any goofy faces. Every time I talk to the camera, he says what? Straight faces. That's it. Yeah, you're not good at that. I wiped the floors floor. down. Thanks, honey. That's yeah. Beautiful. Just like you. Oh wow. Just like my beautiful, beautiful girlfriend. How's the fire? I got a fire going. Should we get food ready? It was touch and go. Uh, we should probably wait a minute. I mean, we can get it like prepped, but like. Yeah, sure, if you want to start cooking stuff, like, <laughs> but... What are we eating tonight? What do you want to eat? Hamburgers, hot dogs, anything that's meat leaking all over the... Hamburgers, stuff. hot dogs, and then do you want pasta? I mean, I could warm it up. Is that good? That's enough stuff? Yeah, and then gonna, we have, let's just cook a bunch of stuff. And then we have um, onion for hamburgers and hot dogs, and we have cheese. Yeah. And buns. And we should get some fancy cheese and make some of that. Too. A snack? Yeah, a mid-snack snack. All right. We're gonna have a mid snack snack before the snack, and then we eat the snack. <laughs> Cheese looks good. Okay, so we got our spread ready. Waiting on the grill man. Hey, it's uh, yeah. I think it's pretty well heated up. We've been tending to it quite a bit. Dorian's got the bright idea to roast some bacon. It's a little hot. We're all bacon grease. <laughs> That's all right. It's just like marshmallow. That worked out so great. <laughs> I thought you were going to flip it with this stick, not roast it. But look at all that grease coming off. Here. I think Dorian's hit the limit of being way too hungry. She's making bird noises. Ah! 
lot of work for a fire. A lot of work for breakfast. Yeah. I feel like somewhere around we've might have netted negative calories for this breakfast. Probably not. A, you probably tons of bacon. to me sleeping my face we're about done now had a nice chat with the neighbor lady and learned that the people that already left across the way there were also supposed to go to Bonnaroo yeah it's a small world after all it's a small world after all welcome to Kyle Vision can you zoom in on this thing? No. <laughs> you can't zoom in on this thing? No. About ready to go, uh, do a little bit of hiking. Torrance getting her hair ready. I got my yard hat, as Doreen would call it. Chillaxing. Living that RV life. successful lunch stop. We drove up here, went through the tunnel, we gotta figure out where we want to hike now. It's crazy because Saturday and Labor Day weekend parking is wild, but... We're gonna be parked off the side of a thing, like half falling over. Which is terrifying. Whatever we gotta do. really careful that you can see it in the trees over there. We're coming to you, Mary. Kyle said, prepare to be impressed. 10% battery. Prepare to be amazed. I can't even see anything. I'm like that. Oh, be prepared to be amazed. Thrilled. Move the ketchup. For the wine opening technique. So, what are you doing? Well, we're screwing a screw down in there into the cork area. Trying to uncork this because we don't have a corkscrew. Yeah, a bottle opener. You get it real close down in there. And then, voila! It doesn't work because it just stripped it. Uh. So now we try a different method. What's the different method? Different! Uh and further you can turn up your headlamp I think it's all the way up I'm gonna test it real quick okay we're at a higher headlamp level now <laughs> and a different screw angle here Yeah, that did not work at all. <laughs> Where's the screw? It went flying in the yard. <laughs> I've did that before though. Done that? Done that. No. What about the drill, babe? The drill? Yeah. Well, what's that gonna do? You can't drill and to it with a 
drill bit? No, I was just gonna knock this in. With the screwdriver? And maybe actually dig it out. Oh. Maybe oh yeah! Hole. Wow. Screw the screw. Use the screwdriver. Yes. <laughs> Use a screwdriver. <laughs> oh, that's working really well. You could probably, can you pull it out with your hands? Wow. Just stuff I've, flying. I've backed up from. <laughs> okay. I'm going from the angle here. Oh. Straight through. All the way out. Ooh. And that is how you open wine. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It's our last morning at the campsite. We're leaving super early. What time is it? Super early for us. 6.40. Um, but we went to bed really early last night. We're going to drive to Cincy today to see my family. But it is going to be the end of our trip. Um... So yeah, just getting the RV set up. Kyle's sitting about outside, and then we'll be on the road in a minute. Do we have to check out, you think? Oh, that card. Yeah. Sorry. Do you have it? No. We're supposed to put it in the box. No. It's okay. It'll be fine. I think they'll figure it out. Dirty. It's a dirty sponge. Okay, well this is it for our trip. Thanks for coming. Well, technically, it's not it for our trip. We still get to drive eight hours back to Cincinnati. But, you know, it's mostly just driving. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Until next time. Oh, don't forget comments. You got to comment on it. Only nice things, though. Uh, yeah. Your best moment. Favorite moment? Favorite moment. Our best moment. Yeah. Okay. Are we done now? We can be. Goodbye!